Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you today? I am alright. I'm a little audacious in my life today. Today is Project Pan Porn. I am so, so excited to be doing this. This is my second update. I um, came across this idea off of Joyful Beauty's um, channel. I will have her link down below. But this project was actually created by LS, whose link I will have down below as well. This is basically where we randomly select eyeshadows and hit pan on them. Once we hit pan on them, then we roll them out and bring in a new shadow to work on. I decided to go with five shadows to work on um, throughout this project. That was not the plan, but that's what I decided on the fly here with you guys. And so at last update, I had finished two items and I had rolled in two new items. So let's go over the five eyeshadows that I have. Now, most of these were brand new when I brought them in. One of them had been used a handful of times, but all of them were, even the handful of uses was pretty much brand new. So last month I drew my colored um, Rain Queen of Hearts palette. This was replacing an eyeshadow I had finished and I drew the shade Impress. It is this beautiful, vibrant orange. It is what I have on my lid today. I love this. If you can tell, see, there is pretty much no change in that um, pan because, well, I didn't use this shade very much, which is utterly depressing because it is a beautiful beautiful shadow so i am that is still with me and i'm happy for it to be because it's a beautiful formula the next one i have had with me since the beginning this is wet and wilds hooked on vinyl and i have the green shade right here i have been using this as a liner hence the very rock look I've got going on here. I really like it as a liner. I tried it as an overall lid shade and didn't really like it um, because it pulls almost black. So I have went to using it as a liner today. I got a little heavy handed with it, hence the overly smoked out look. But I love this green shade. I thought I would hit pan on it this month, but as you can see, the dip is wider, but I'm not quite to pan yet. This next one is my Amorous Lady Boss palette. I still had the shade, what is it? Oh, I just broke my palette right out. That sucks. All right, the shade Winner here, and that was from the first month. And if you can see, I have just this itty bitty pan right there. I achieved it tonight when I was doing my look. So I'm excited that I have pans, so I, since I got it today doing this look, I will be drawing for a new one. And that's a bummer that broke. All right, well that went all different ways of sideways. But hopefully nothing broke. Okay, back to Missy. This is in my Femrosa palette. This is where I am at now. My dip has gotten just a little bit deeper, but I'm still working on it. I'm trying to see if I can, there, you can see it a little bit better. It's a slow, steady climb with this because it is really dry and compact. So I expect Missy to be with me for a while. 
Then last month I drew my Elf and Christian Siriano palette and I drew this beautiful green shade right there. This is the one that had a handful of uses when I brought it in and I didn't wear this once. I was looking forward to this. I thought this would go pretty darn quick. But there's no movement compared to last month. I don't think I ever, ever once played with that. But I have finished one, so let's draw a new one. Okay, I already have my randomizer here, and the list is actually in there. I don't know why it's in there for this one and not my other ones, but that's okay. Okay. Let's randomize. Okay, we have an eyeshadow from my Urban Decay Ammo Palette. Let me go pull that and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what the Urban Decay Ammo Palette looks like, if you do not know. And the shade I drew is called Last Call. Okay, so we have another pink with red. So this shade right here is Last Call. That is what it looks like. Whoa, I did not, ouch. I think I just snapped my nail right off. So this is Last Call. That's really, really pretty. It looks like it might have a little bit of shift to it. I don't know. Let's watch the others to see what my palette for the next month will look like. Okay. All right, so this is my palette for the upcoming month. That is really pretty. I'm actually glad I have Last Call because it kind of goes with this like spring green that we have. I think it'll go well, those two will go well together. So that is my palette. Still a little wild and crazy, but we're going to do what we can with it. So that is my update on Project Pan Porn. I love doing this. I love putting my hands on my makeup, you know, trying to hit pan in my eyeshadows and just getting use from my collection. So hopefully this month will go better and I will get more use on these eyeshadows. I just kind of forgot that I had them sometimes. Not good, not good. Okay, this is it, pretty pretty. You guys, make sure you go check out Joyful Beauty and LS and any of those who are doing Project Pam Porn or Pan in Every Palette. It's all the same concept, just putting your hands on your makeup, hitting pan in your eyeshadows, and getting use out of them. You guys, take good care, be safe, and I will see you on the next one.